Hi, my name is Jack McCormick. I'm a senior here at St. Michael, and I'm going to be reading uh, Friday, March 1st, uh, Friday, the second week of Lent. Sharper than a serpent's tooth. Ingratitude is one of the most wounding things. How painful it is to have made great efforts for someone, only to see one's love and care treated with contempt. How sharper than a serpent's tooth it is, King Lear says, to have, thank to have a thankless child. Such a child turns all the pains and benefits of its parents to laughter and contempt. The story of God's covenants with us human beings is largely a story of ingratitude. God showers so many cares and such great benefits on his vineyard, his people, but they and their leaders are not grateful. What is true of the story of salvation on the grand scale is true of the story of each soul as well. Each one of us can recall that God has called us out of nothing into being out of eternal love. Purchased our souls at the great price of the precious blood of His Son, recreated us in baptism, and given us a share in His very life. He has set us over this vineyard of our souls to tend it and allow the divine life to come to fruition in it. But whenever we sin, we reject His gift and our mission and turn all His pains and benefits to laughter and contempt. Good and generous Father, help me to tend to the vineyard of my soul with grateful care, so that the gifts you have given me may be fulfilled in eternal life. Today's suggested penance. Spend 10 minutes in prayer meditating with gratitude on God's goodness. Have a great day.